What is going on guys? Welcome to yet another video. We are still following the Mayhem program. I'm really enjoying it. I think the program is very well written. It focuses on a lot of accessory work to build it into the main session. So really enjoying that. Today we've got a short, sharp session. It's gonna be two parts. So there's a part A, rest, and then a part B. This is the workout. We're gonna crack on with that just now. Potentially some training later. We'll see how we're feeling. And then some nice family time for the rest of the weekend. Done. Now time for part B. Ooh. That really gets to you, especially when you think you're going to be all right on the first set of toes to bar and then you move on to the push press or shoulder to overhead and it just blows your grip out. I think that this the Mayhem program is just perfectly written. It's just very, very well written for, for like, gen, you know, they've got different programs, different levels of, of kind of programs for different people like affiliates and much like myself, you know, during lockdown, I've got a garage gym, so, but yeah, I think the program is very well written. I say it focuses on accessory works and the warm ups. Um, so, anyone that's looking to get that, I would highly recommend that. It's quite cheap as well, which is an added bonus. I suppose where I'm at when, with regards to fitness is that I was competing to quite what I would consider quite a high level. I came kind of top 1000 in the RX category of the Open last year. I think only by you know a very small margin, I was like 996, but top 1,000, but I was climbing through the ranks, I was getting fitter, I was getting stronger, you know, but then kind of injuries caught up, I decided to start vlogging for you guys, and it kind of took a bit of a back step, so I'm not competing. If I'm gonna compete, I'm gonna compete for fun. These guys that take it quite seriously, obviously when you get to a really, really high level like Matt Fraser, it's quite stressful, you know, these guys go through a lot of stress and I'm not sure how long like the likes of Matt Fraser has got left, you know, just from a from a personal perspective, from his personal perspective, he's got a lot of commitments and it takes a lot of support from his kind of network. So, you know, he has kind of hinted that it's time for him to give a little bit back. So does that mean that he's going to quit potentially? I mean, I think we can all resonate with how challenging it is to stay at that level of fitness. To that level, I mean, in our own worlds, it's it's pretty challenging, and they're all they've got massive commitments as well, sponsors and whatnot. So, I don't know, Matt Fraser. I think he's probably got this year and next year, and I don't think it'll be down to his fitness or him being capable enough to win. I just think that he might want to just give a little bit back and get some of his his life back, maybe potentially. I don't know. I don't know the guy, but. We'll see. Anyway, right, stop rabbiting. Let's get on with the rest of the day. Off for the second session of the day. Gonna do some hill sprints. See how we get on with that. It's a little windy, but we are gonna be doing some hill sprints. Up there, that's where we're gonna be doing it. How many times are we going to run up this hill? Ten, five, I four, four. I think in the four or six. I, I kind of thought ten times was going to be the number. See, let's just let's just uh, let's, yeah. the scale for life. Let's, <laughs> let's do one and then see how that's feeling. Right, that was six hill sprints, roughly about 5k. It was hard and it was good to have Rich there to push me along because 
he was kicking my ass on that to be honest with you but really good fun. Yeah.